Hello everyone, uh, I just wanted to make a video about my base design <clears throat> and how it relates to rating mostly. Um, so, uh, currently your bases are being rated by AI, not real uh, human players yet, so uh, these are supposedly copies of bases. If uh, you ha are lucky enough to get to my base and you don't have a chopper, I keep this in my truck. So you're welcome to it. It supposedly doesn't cost me anything and the AI doesn't raid the trucks yet. So uh, there's that. Uh, as far as the way my base is designed is I see a lot of people that put walls everywhere and it's a, a maze and it's really hard to work with. I don't like that idea. I, I like having a pretty open base that I can walk around with freely and, and get to everything and it's not a big deal. So I kind of went with this donut design. <clears throat> Um, on my the outside, I've got two layers of walls, which will eventually be two layers of stone walls. So if you decide to break in, you're going to end up having to, to bust through an outer wall of stone once I'm finished. And then you're going to end up having to bust through the second layer. And what I've done here is I've put my workbenches all along my, my top two walls that are easy to see. And then I have chests along my bottom walls. They're they're hard to see, but they're there. So there's so if you once you break through that first wall and you get to the second wall, you break it, you can't get in. You're going to end up having to bust that divider wall and then a, a third stone wall to actually get into the main part of my base. Which at that point you're going to have enough time to get one or two two uh, chests at, at best um, before the big one comes and all that kind of stuff. So. Uh, and then in the, the my most valuable stuff I keep here in the center. I made this room about as small as I could. You know, I, I needed to put a lot of stuff in here. So uh, eventually I'll make this uh, metal once the recipe gets changed because right now it's just ridiculous. But once I can wrap this in, in metal, this will be obviously the best spot for my best stuff. And uh, it, the same idea applies here. I keep my chests around the sides. If you were to break this one wall, uh, you'd also have to break that wall. So by then, you're, you're definitely got the big one coming. So it's very, very unlikely anybody could ever break in here. If you did break one of these walls, obviously you could, you'd only have to, to break the one to get in. Um, I, and I can always move chests around. I can move a chest in front of the store or whatever. So, um, and then, so these walls would be the first ones I would turn metal. You know, because these were the ones, if I just made four walls metal, then it would be very, very hard to actually make it into this room. Uh, while I'm here, I'll just show you my better stuff, just for the hell of it. Uh, I did not actually kill five big ones. I got that from a raid from a really strange-looking base. Um, I keep my better guns in here. I've probably done close to 20 floppy disks. I've yet to get an infected chest, fortunately, because I've also yet to get any more uh, circuits other than the initial one that everybody got. So, um, more guns, C4, a bunch more guns. I've not done hard mode in a while. Uh, but once I do, I'll get some gun oil, I can modify those. Um, tape, armor, more armor, uh, some of my event stuff. So that's kind of my better stuff. And then I'm not going to open all these chests, but you know, I've got weapons and armor and all kinds of junk and all these. So I got quite a bit of stuff. I do a lot of grinding. Uh, I don't, I think I've spent like five bucks on this game. Um, all, everything I have pretty much is just through a lot of grinding. So, uh, my garden, there's nothing special to really show you. Uh, those chests just have like, you know, carrots and extra, extra charcoal. Uh, I keep my radio out here cause it's annoying. Um, so anyway, so back to some more ideas here, the, uh, these, the gun bench and the chopper and all this kind of stuff. It's nice to have inside your base because, uh, if somebody busts it through a wall over here, it's the same thing as hitting a chest. They can't get through. So, uh, I kind of incorporate that in as a extra defense. If you were to break into my lower garden area, that's kind of the worst place, but, but you'd have the same idea. You'd have to bust through two walls. Uh, you'd come in here, then you have to bust through this wall, and there's chests on the other side. So same same idea, um, and I can always put a chest, you know, here once humans are actually raiding, but humans aren't raiding. So the way the AI currently raids, as far as I know, is uh, what they'll do is they'll come up to a wooden wall right here. They won't go for the stone wall if you have wooden walls. They'll, blow, they'll bust through it, and then when they see another wall in front, 
they turn around and go through another wall. And then they turn around and go through another wall. So uh, at, at that point, they usually come over here and raid some of my chests. And I don't keep much in here. This, these are just kind of like spoiler chests. Uh, I did start putting some broken guns, uh, broke down guns in these chests because supposedly I've heard if you if you leave them something like that, you're more likely to get a revenge raid. Um, so that that's the way they work. Um, now, once I do finish wrapping stone around the rest of my base, then at that point they'll blow up walls. So I don't want that to happen. So when I get it all wrapped up, I'm going to come over here and build one wooden wall. Uh, and that way they, they always come and break down wooden walls and I don't have to worry about constantly fixing stone walls, which is a super, super pain. So you see, I've got some chests in here. There's a limit to how many chests that you can make, but it's the same idea. If somebody breaks through this wall, then they'd have to break through the dividing wall, which I don't even know if you can do from this kind of angle, but, uh, you can add more things into the second layer. I've also got some spikes, as you can see in my mini map here, there's some spikes in the wall. So you get hurt walking by those. So that's another little design idea you can add. Um, I just kind of threw some windows on the outside just randomly. Um, on the Well, not randomly, on the corners in the middle. Uh, I don't, you know, I assume at some point you're going to be able to shoot through those. And so at some point I might make it so that I knock down all those dividing walls and I have that path to run around and defend my base in the event that some something happens like that. So I would advise adding some windows to your base here and there just in, in, the, in the event that something like that happens in the future and you're not screwed because you got metal walls everywhere and you know that whole deal um so what am i forgetting here um i guess i guess that's it so uh yeah, once this is all kind of designed around the idea that the AI is currently raiding, I'll probably make some changes once real humans start to raid. I can always add walls everywhere or whatever if I, th I thought I was going to get raided, but uh, I, I like having a base that's open and, and easy to work with and makes sense from that point of view. So, um, but when, when, you know, once, once it, humans do it, there'll, there'll be a few modifications to my base. Anyways, I hope that helps, and uh, <clears throat> uh, hopefully someday we'll get some clans going, and I'll see some of you guys out there. Um, till then, I guess that's it. All right, bye.